I'm going to put my name on this and I have measured out already um, how much space I have and I'm going to go ahead and pick a font and so when I went to fonts it's simple there I do like the pretty font it's Valentine's and it it just it seems special so I'm going to spell my name out if I can spell it correctly so there's my name and if you notice down here at the bottom there's large medium and small that's if you want to quickly adjust a letter or quickly adjust uh, the whole word in just a moment of how it's done so I'm going to say set and right here, um, if you'll notice my name, um, focus in on that. I'm going to go to size. And if you see, I did a lot. Oh, that's a medium, and that's a small. See how quickly it changes it to kind of get it in the area you want it. But I'm just going to start there. And of course, then these are your uh, sizing tools of what you need. So I'm going to reduce it down. I know that I need to be about uh, 0.85 inches tall, right there. So that makes it about three inches long. So that works for me. Okay, so I'm going to say okay. I am going to up the density on this because it is um, cotton webbing and I want it to stand up and be a little thicker. So I'm going to go to density and I'm going to crank that baby up and say okay. So now I have my name, uh, I have the density changed and the size. I'm ready to go. End edit. Uh, I am going to tell the machine that I am using, um, it knows right here, a 5x7. Uh, if we were, before I had the hoop on, if I wanted to go ahead and say I had a 5x7 on, I could do that. But it is smart enough to know that when I plug this size in, exactly what size I'm going to use. That way you don't make the mistake and accidentally stitch on the wrong one. Now here's the cool part. Um, we're going to go right here to camera. And I'm going to scan to find my webbing down here at the bottom. And I probably should have changed the color of my name, and I will in just a moment, because it's going to be black on black. So this one here has a camera just like um, the others. Let's go ahead and let me edit that color. Um, just a minute. I don't want it multicolor. Um, nope, nope, nope. Back up. Back up. No multicolor. Just color. Uh, let's go with maybe pink. Now I can see exactly my name on the screen, and I know that I need to come down just a little bit. So I'm going to bring it down like this. And I have already put my webbing, I centered it in the hoop uh, how I needed it, and I used the Soline glue stick to hold it right on. So we're going to cross our fingers. And make sure everything works appropriately. Now it's telling me that it's going to use spool number five, which that's orange. That is not very Valentiney. I want the pink back here, so I'm going to hit my magic wand, and I'm going to say, "Please use spool number ten, and that's where it's going to go. So we're going to lock and go. So this says approximately six minutes. One color, two thousand seventy-five stitches. have tear away in the hoop. It's a quick and easy tear away. What I like is it ties off after each uh, letter, so you don't have jump stitches. The glue stick that I used right here, this Soline fabric glue pen, it's temporary. Uh, if you notice, it's holding that webbing um, nice right there on that 
um, tear away stabilizer. So this is what we have. We have these in the shop. If this is interesting, it comes with that glue in the pan and it comes with a refill right there. <laughs> okay, it is all finished and we're just going to tear that off tear the little pieces off and I'm going to put the little um, clasp on it to make your keychain for you. Let me get that pulled around here just like this and there we go.